have uh, the wonderful Aileen Doyle. She's in the field today, right? Let's see what she's doing. All right. Mike, I'm here at Publican House Brewery in Peterborough, and today we're going to get to have a look at the brewing process. So we're going to learn how they brew the beer, how they can it, and finally, we're going to get to have a little taste. We'll have all of that coming up on The Daily. Kaylee, Mike, I'm back here at the Publican House Brewery, and I'm with Matt Phillips, one of the owners, and we're going to take a look at the different beers that they have. And uh, so, Matt, tell me. What are the beers that you have? So we, we make about six different styles of beer throughout the year. Uh, two are available all year. We're actually going to start to take our high new nail to make it available all year as well. Sir. Okay, uh, so let's I'll, go lightest to darkest. Yeah. So what's our lightest here? So our lightest is our high noon. It's okay. about 4.5% alcohol. It's uh, considered a wheat beer, American style. Um, give it a swirl. Get okay. your nose in there. It smells citrusy. Yeah. That's delicious. Yeah, yeah. That's really good. Really nice and light for summer. It's perfect for summer. It's a nice sessionable good, good beer. Good for a patio. Yeah, <laughs> patio beer. That's that's what we had in mind when we made it. So. Perfect. Yeah. All right. So what's next? So next up the scale is our house ale. Okay. This actually won an Ontario Brewing Award this year. We're really oh, excited great. about that. And so that's been traditionally our best seller. So this is sort of a medium body beer. Medium body beer, 4.8% okay. alcohol. Uh, it's got uh, some biscuit notes, apricot notes if you smell. Oh yeah, that's nice. That kind of makes me think of like a fall beer though. That's right. Yeah, yeah. it's a bit more full flavored. Mm. A bit more to the back end of that one. Perfect. Well, I mean, fall is still far away, that's but I'll right. keep it yeah. in mind yeah. around September. <laughs> and then next up the flavor chain is our square nail pale ale. Okay. Uh, it's a West Coast style pale ale, so it's hoppy. It's got a bit of bitterness to it. It's like an IPA, only a little lower in alcohol. Okay. Comes in at about 5.5%. It's got nice amber color, as you can see. Yeah. And uh, yeah, get your nose in there and right. get a smell of that. Well, kind of a little bit sweet, is that? Yeah, that's the malt that you're smelling. Mm. Delicious. So this is this is great with a nice burger, mm -hmm. a nice piece of steak. Um, you're not gonna this have too like many. This is like your red wine of beers. Exactly right. Yeah, you're not gonna have too many of those, but with a meal, it's perfect. Well, that's delicious. And if you would like to try them yourself, come on down to the Publican House Brewery, and we'll have more after the break. I'm still here at the Publican Brewery in Peterborough, and I'm with their head brewer, Brian Pope. And right now, we are crushing the grain to get it ready to make beer. So, Brian, tell me what you're doing here and why it's important. Well, this is uh, the mill. We're just uh, crushing the grain. Uh, we like to control everything in the process, so we, we do our own crushing here. Uh, this is going to get set up uh, for our mash-in, which is where we're getting the sugars for the for the beer. Well, let's go take a look. So from the mill, the grain, crushed grain, is coming up to the hopper above us. Uh, from there, we will send it over to the mash tun, uh, which is the big vessel over there. So what's a miller and what does that do? So the mill crushing the grain into the hopper, so that's just basically a storage for the crushed grain. Uh, then we manually transfer over to the mash tun, which is where the conversion from starch to sugar happens. And so what, what's next after that? So the next part is the pump that you just heard go off. Uh, so we're draining the liquid, the sugar water from that mash into this grant and then it's sent to the kettle. And the kettle is where the boil happens. We're going to add our hops as well. And then and then is it beer? Is that it? Uh, not quite. Uh, the magic happens in the fermenters. So that's where we add the yeast. Uh, the sugars are converted to alcohol. So that's where all the ingredients come together. You add the yeast and it starts it starts working its magic. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Well, that is a lot to process, but coming up after the break, we'll take a look at how we actually package and can the beer. Kaylee, Mike, I'm here now with Aaron O'Neill from the Publican Brewery, and we're learning how we actually can the beer. So, Aaron, what's happening right now? Okay, put the cans on, hit the two buttons, start CO2 to purge the cans, get the air out, and automatically start filling with beer, and it'll automatically stop when they're full. All right, I'm just taking the cans off the filler, putting the caps on, and seaming them. So what is seaming them? Seaming them is... Um, it rolls the can and the lid together, 
Create an airtight seal to keep the beer in. This is the seamer. So is it just one person who stands here and does this all day? Oh, we generally have two people for uh, five, six hours at a time. And so what do you what do you do when you're doing that? You kind of all sorts of thoughts, chats, jokes? We'll watch the people go by on Charlotte Street. We got the nice big windows. <laughs> Well, that is it for our visit to the Publican House Brewery, but if you would like to try the beer yourself, you can head on down. It's on Charlotte Street in Peterborough.